choosing to watch Dream TV. Peace, no bombing is my name. And this is the news at 9 p.m. Starting from Bojiri. Police is holding eight suspects in custody for the current and recent Sheikh Mutumba murder in Bujiri district. Now police spokesperson Fred Enanga says that the murder is allegedly connected to land wrangles in the late families not connected to the religion as earlier circulated on various social media platforms. We have more to this story. Let us see what happened. Uh, that is based in the uh, Busoga East region, in uh, close coordination with our officers at Ujiri, uh, responded to uh, the killing by shooting, and uh, uh, we're happy to inform you that so far we have eight suspects from one family uh, that are highly connected to the senseless killing that have been arrested. And this also includes a border border rider uh, who transported the killers to and from uh, the murder scene. Uh, according to the preliminary facts, the shootings stemmed from an ongoing land wrangle with one called uh, Ko Koita, Koita Suleiman, also of Busimba village. Uh, it's on record that uh, uh, the now deceased had won a civil suit in Wujiri High Court now, born again faith in Uganda, presiding apostle Dr. Joseph Serada has vowed to mobilize Christians to boycott the coming general elections if government fails to establish the Christian Marriage Act. Why would this government continue to despise Christians? This is a season. This is a time for it. Marriages in the whole Marriages Act. It, uh, it was shelved before, and the reasons were that some women were making noise over property issues and some men were also not comfortable with um, young ladies who sleep in their beds once or twice and then claim property. We will not elect anybody, we will not vote, forget the elections, we will not even vote and I'm going to campaign. Now in an effort to reduce on the mortality rate in Uganda, Bulamu Access Foundation provided free health service at St. Denis Sebugwawa Secondary School along Gava Road in Kampala District. Now, through the health camp, a number of antenatal services were provided to community mothers. Liz Nsuba, an official from Bulamu Access Foundation, explains why they decided to give out these services to the disadvantaged uh, we really go out to different places depending on where we feel like there's a need and we provide the services that we believe is needed to the people of that particular community now today what sent Denis Sebu Sebu Gwawo at uh, along Gaba Road and uh, we dealt with antenatal services we began with a walk for the mothers to get in check because uh, I do not know if they really do it a lot, so it was recommended by the doctors. Uh, in Uganda, we have a very high maternal mortality rate. Uh, that's why Bulamu chose to come in and see how to help women on how to handle themselves during pregnancies because most people are a little oblivious. Now the Vice Chancellor's Forum has advised the Uganda National Curriculum Development Centre to seek guidance and advice from several university heads as they seek to implement the new lower secondary curriculum. Now the VC Kampala International University, Dr. Mohammed, said basic education begins in primary and ends in high institutions, hence need to collectively change Uganda's education sector. Now he was launching the entrepreneurship and technology innovations in, Kasa, in Kansanga Best University. We have a report. So if there are going to be reforms, it's so important that all sections of the education system are actually analyzed, studies are done, and comparisons made. So I think the universities have got to have interests in knowing what is happening in the lower levels. On the international scene, four African countries, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Burundi, Ghana, and Zambia have licensed and can now 
distribute an Ebola vaccine, which the World Health Organization WHO has hailed as a milestone. Kenya's ambassador to China, Sarah Sirem, has told students stuck in Wuhan, the city at the center of coronavirus outbreak, that they will not yet be brought home, but she is praying for their safety. Now, a number of European Union countries are blocking a decision to resume a naval operation on the Mediterranean Sea over concerns that it might encourage migrants to set off from the Libyan coast in search of better lives in Europe. The EU's stop, diplomats said on Monday. That story marks the end of Dream TV News. Thank you so much for being with us from wherever you best to watch. I'm out for now. I wish you a lovely night and see you tomorrow at 4. Bye bye.